calorie deficit explained. Very few things are gonna be as important for losing body fat as getting into a calorie deficit. Yes, you may have genetic factors and different ghrelin and leptin hunger satiation hormones that all come into play in terms of if you're still eating calorie deficit, you may not be losing body fat, but the foundation pillar for losing body fat and reducing weight is going to be getting into a calorie deficit, which basically means that you eat less food than your body needs and then you're able to tap into fat stores and you're able to burn some of that excess body fat on your body. That's what's gonna reduce your body fat overall or get your weight down. One of the examples that I like to use is that of money. If you get 500 euro every week into your pay packet on a Friday and continuously you're spending 750 euro or 1,000 euro every week, it's not gonna be too long before you get into debt. That's the same with your calories. If you are continuously have 2,000 as your maintenance calories, the amount of calories you need to stay the same weight, and you're continuously eating 2,500 calories or 3,000 calories, it's very unlikely you're gonna be able to get your weight down or get your body fat down. Again, don't confuse weight and body fat. Losing weight is reducing numbers on a scale. Losing body fat is reducing the fat in your body. But getting into a calorie deficit is your pyramid of prioritization. It's that foundation pillar. If you don't do that, Nothing else was really gonna matter that much. You can say, should I do vegan? Should I do keto? Should I do intermittent fasting? All those things don't really matter if you're eating too many calories. If you're continuously eating above your calorie maintenance in a calorie surplus, eating more calories than your body needs, it's not gonna matter what really nutritional strategy you follow. Again, find one that's sustainable for you. If you love the ethical side of veganism or the health benefits that come from it, or that of intermittent, or time, intermittent fasting or time-restricted eating, or a paleolithic diet or keto. If you're in a calorie deficit, you're gonna be able to lose body fat. You're gonna be able to get your weight down. Before you decide what diet's the best one, get your pyramid of prioritization in order. Get that first foundation pillar right where you're not eating too many calories and that's gonna help you lose body fat faster.